the Philippines has been undergoing a human rights crisis and our U.S. tax dollars have something to do with it. A coalition called New York for Philippine Human Rights Act held a virtual launch event to share more about the current political situation in the country and why this act must be passed. We refuse to be complicit with our tax dollars being used in the ongoing state violence, political repression of the Philippines by the Duterte administration. According to Human Rights Watch, President Rodrigo Duterte's war on drugs began when he took office in 2016. Killings target mostly impoverished Filipinos in urban areas and have increased dramatically during the COVID-19 lockdown, rising by over 50 percent during April to July 2020. Activists say there has been almost total impunity for these killings, and many, like Nikki Pagulayan, who is a U.S. citizen and New Yorker, have received threats and have been subject to terror tagging. Terror tagging is basically a tactic used to vilify activists. It's a way for the government to blame ordinary people for problems that it fails to solve. And in the Philippines, it has graver consequences to justify harassment, arrest, assassination even, and to also justify harassment and surveillance of activists overseas. And these attacks in all shapes and, form, um, and forms are backed by our U.S. tax dollars. The Philippine Human Rights Act was first sponsored by Pennsylvania Representative Susan Wild and supported by Bronx legislators like Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Adriano Espaillat last fall. The legislation calls for the U.S. to stop sending aid to the Philippines and withdraw U.S. arms sales to the Duterte administration. Organizers are now calling for the act to be reintroduced in the new Congress. Our national complicity in the terror being imparted upon Filipinos is the latest wound in a long history of colonial violence inhibited sovereignty, and the prioritizing of the profits and access of multi multinational corporations to natural resources over human life and the well-being of the environment in the Philippines. To find out more about the Philippine Human Rights Act, visit humanrightsph.org. Reporting for BronxNet, Sanji Lopez.